Welcome back to another episode of the 2020 podcast, bringing clarity to business, entrepreneurship, and life. I'm your host, Dr. Harbir Sayan. Thank you, everybody, for joining me on another episode. I have another eye-to-eye episode for you today. Actually, I was not planning on doing an episode at all this week. Um, I was going to come back to you with another episode with a, a great guest next week. But man, this weekend here in Vancouver, we just had our British Columbia Doctors of Optometry Conference, our annual conference. uh, And it was the first one since before COVID. Of course, everything was shut down and there was no big events like this in person. But man, it was incredible to be in person again with so many amazing people, friends and colleagues and people in the industry, uh, mentors, so many people all in the same room and And I'm like still after this weekend, like buzzing from all the energy and inspiration and everything that I gained, all the new things that I've learned, the stuff that I can implement in my practice and and things I can do to help my patients, all this new information that I have just racing through my head. And I'm I'm like energized, re-energized thanks to this meeting. And because of the meeting, I decided that I would do this podcast because there was one specific topic that I wanted to touch on, one specific message I wanted to share that I really felt, I felt uh, this weekend and I absorbed this weekend. And if I was going to put it into one word, it would be abundance. Um, And having that abundance mindset, when you're around people who have this sort of growth mindset, abundance mindset, or forward thinking people who are always sharing ideas and wanting each other to grow, it really inspires you to do more and inspires you to give back and contribute more to those around you, to the profession as a whole and all of this type of thing. And I mean, as usual with these eye to eye things, um, I think these topics are, are relevant across professions, whether you're whatever profession you might be in, whatever your job might be, uh, you know, wh- wherever you're coming from. I think these these topics that I like to share in these conversations are relevant across, uh, you know, every every profession and, and, and walk of life. And this abundance one is is no exception, of course. And this actually goes back to a very early episode on this podcast. In fact, I had someone named Dr. Pavan Avanashi, who's a friend of mine, very well regarded and respected in our industry. And he said in that podcast uh, that he believes there's enough water in the jug to fill all of our cups, right? And that basically, I thought that was a really great analogy for this abundance mindset. If you go into the world or you go out into the world believing that there's enough energy out there, there's enough resources out there for us to all succeed, to all be satisfied, to all be happy, to achieve our goals. If you have that mindset, then you're much more likely to have positive interactions with other people because you're not worried about them somehow taking something away from you. You know, you have this mindset that it's not a zero sum game. If you win, I lose, that's zero sum, right? So we're thinking that this is more like an infinite game, not zero sum. We can all win if we all continue to grow and and to try to contribute to one another and to our profession and to our world as a whole. And so I heard this again this weekend and I just felt like I really wanted to share that with you guys. And it also reminded me of a discussion I had even further back than that podcast with Bhavan. And that was actually, this was maybe in my very first year of practicing, we're talking like 10 years ago, um, I happened to meet an older optometrist uh, who practices here in the Vancouver area. And I was chatting with him about the fact that I wanted to open a practice. And uh, I was afraid that there's just, it's just too saturated now. There's too much competition. I'm not going to be able to succeed or I'm afraid I won't be able to. And he looked at me with this kind of like smirk and a little bit of a side eye. And I was like, okay, what, what is it? And he said, well, that's exactly what people were saying to me when I started practicing in the seventies, that it's saturated. There's not enough of a population or it's too competitive. And he's like, and I heard the same thing people were saying in the, you know, in the nineties. And now you're saying it again in the 2010s. He's like, and they'll be saying it again 20 years from now that it's saturated. There's too much competition. But again, he had the same mindset that there's enough water in the jug to fill all our cups. If you're excellent at something, essentially what he was saying to me, if you're good at it, you'll be fine. And I think that's the mentality we all need to have when we go out into the world, when we go do our job, when we go seek opportunities, when we're working for something, you're working hard for it. If you, if you have that, that feeling and that mindset that yes, if I work hard enough, there is enough opportunity out there for me to succeed it's going to help you succeed much more greatly than 
being afraid of whether you will have the opportunity or if there's enough opportunities out there. Now, there are people, as much as we will try to have that abundance mindset and believe there's enough water in the jug for everybody, there are plenty of people who don't think that way. And uh, speaking from my personal experience, okay, there are plenty of people and you'll find them every step of the way who don't feel so happy and comfortable about sharing and uh, perhaps don't believe there is enough water in the jug, perhaps believe it is a zero sum game. So if I win, they're going to lose and therefore they don't feel they want to share certain information or they don't want to share certain opportunities. They don't want to see someone else succeed because they believe that that is going to then affect their success in the future. And there's not a whole lot we can do to change that, the fact that people think that way. Now, if it's somebody you know and you want to talk to them and you want to introduce them to some topics and have them listen to this podcast or something, great, go ahead and do it. But if it's something else, you know, if it's a professional thing and you're, you've come up against somebody that, that really seems to be uh, maybe not as helpful as you might have anticipated, the number one thing I'll tell you is, you know, don't be offended. Don't take it to heart because it's not, uh, it's not in everybody's nature. And I, I'll tell you from my personal experience, it's taken effort and work to kind of continue to have that abundance mindset. I actually think it's easy and almost, I don't want to say default, but it's easier to have a scarcity mindset. So for us who want to have this mindset of there's enough water in the jug, it takes effort because you'll come up against the people who don't feel that way. And you'll just have to remember that that's not the only path forward, okay? In fact, when you have this open-mindedness, this abundance mindset, this, this growth mindset, a lot of times opportunities are going to come not from the direction that you thought they were supposed to come from, but from all sorts of other directions when you didn't even expect them. So keeping that in mind, if you come across somebody who perhaps is not quite as open to this concept as you might like, don't take it to heart, don't take it personally. Just know that there will be other opportunities as long as you continue to have that abundance mindset and continue to grow. So that's what I wanted to share with you guys today. There's enough water in the jug to fill all our cups. And uh, again, I hope at some, in some way or, or another that this helps you. You know, again, I'm doing this to, to short, sort of share with you the thoughts and the processes that I'm kind of going through as I'm just growing on a day-to-day -day basis. And I just hope that somehow it can, uh, can help you as well. And you can implement this somewhere in your day-to-day -day life, personal life, professional life, whatever it might be. As always, uh, I thank you all so much for the support, everyone who listens uh, or watches on YouTube. And uh, as always, I'll request, if you don't mind, please share it with a friend, take a screenshot, throw it up on Instagram, tell me what you think, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.